Okay, what's up guys? So today I'd like to continue our journey on Archon Quest. I, I mean, I'm I'm pretty late to do the chapter 3 here. I haven't even touched Sumeru yet as you see over here. So I'm pretty excited to get into the, get into Sumeru and I'd like to use only the Traveler. Can I? I wonder if I could do this, but uh, I guess I'm gonna get another party set up instead. Alright, I just picked my um, a team. I chose to bring Raiden Shogun, Hijosara, and Barbara. Okay, anyway, where should we go again? Go to the land of the Dendro Archon, 80 meters lower over here. Oh, there's a silly. How about if I uh, take this silly back to their home first before we go to the quest? I didn't realize also <laughs> the stars room uh we we already see stars rooms around um around the chasms right we have to continue through the forest and look at this how about the oh what now four leaf sigil uh can i please let me read the instruction first Okay, let's continue onward. Oh, there's the thing I see over there. And this, can I put them back? Okay, over here. What do I get? An answer from this world? No, I don't think so either. Okay, what now? And. Now that we made it to Sumeru, our next objective should be to head to Sumeru City and find a way to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanami. We need to find a way to meet Lesser Lord Kusanami. Okay. Of Lesser Lord Kusanami, even though we haven't heard too much about her, she doesn't seem to be the same deity who abducted your sister. But even so, people call Sumeru the Nation of Wisdom, you know. If we can get a chance to meet the God of Wisdom, maybe she can give us some useful information! Yeah, let's go to Lesser Lord Xanali. Uh, Paimon doesn't know the way to Sumeru City! Maybe we can climb up to that spot with the Statue of the Seven! Even okay, anyway, let's go to the Statue of the, the Seven. Is. I'm gonna skip this conversation. It's pretty much useless in my opinion. And Wait who is this? Look! There's someone up ahead! And who could that be? Okay, the, the NPC stopped. Huh? Sumeru Loco. And? She just passed. What's going on here? Again. There's no way she could have missed that. Oh, wait! Could she be ignoring us? How dare she? Maybe there's a reason she ignored us. Hmm. Well, I do agree even with her. so, she might be heading someplace where we could find other people to ask. Let's keep our distance and follow her. When we get the okay. chance, we'll just ask someone else for directions. Yeah, I think so. Looks like that one local is an introvert. <laughs> he, on, I mean, she doesn't even talk to just us. Just, Make sure she doesn't notice us. Uh, where's my T button? Okay, let me use this once. Uh, can I go there? I'd like to open the teleport waypoint, can I? Oh, okay, that's a pretty much a hard one to climb with. I guess I'm just gonna climb using the manual way. Okay, we just got up here and let me open the stat of the sevens. And here we go. The Aphidia Forest. Interesting. And then we have Sumeru City over here. Now we have to follow this thing. Why should we go here instead of the statue? Um what now? Oh, there's a cutscene. Hmm. Oh, hello there. What were those? Yeah, I saw them. I saw them. Little round, plain like things, gone just like that. We should ask around when we get a chance, yeah. Also, the statue is a little bit broken here. I can tell. Can I resonate with Dendra, please? Ta-da! Okay, perfect. Now we have Dendra, the essence of Propagate. Flora. Propagate. 
Oh, seven seconds cooldown. I see. Oh, I bet. Okay, anyway, let's continue onward to our quest. It's supposed to be this way. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's go take a closer look. Paimon thought this cave would lead to a village or something, but uh, it looks like that's not the case. Look, mm, she's sitting and what over could there. That be? Wait, she couldn't possibly be living here, could she? I wonder uh, about that. What should we do now? Do we try asking her for directions again? Um, maybe we shouldn't bother her. Hmm. Looks like she's meditating or something. If we bother her now, she probably wouldn't let us off very lightly. Mm. Oh. Mm. What a lovely smell! It's coming and from that, that sensor over there. This is definitely not your typical place to call home, but at least it smells nice. Mm. Maybe living here wouldn't be too bad. I'm either. pretty sure it's it's some sort of food or wait 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 what? Huh? What's going on? What's the matter? You don't look too good. Something's not what? right. Is the smell making you feel sick? Strange. Paimon doesn't feel anything. I gotta get out of here. And what exactly was it? Again. Oh. Hey, we just passed out. What's happening? Traveler? This is no time for a nap. Oh, oh no. So, we just fainted here. Uh, inside the Sumeru local cave. I don't know who is here again. Follow the voice. Oh, what now? Where am I? And how am I supposed to go? Can I just go down like this? No? Ouch? Oh, okay. Just kidding. Anyway, we have to follow the voice and it should be around here, but... Oh, what now? Um, it's a tree. Okay, it's like a second Sakura in Inazuma, I think. No. Oh, okay. We just fell down and gotta go get back to. Okay, another cutscene. <coughs> What is it? I don't know, it'll be this interesting. Hmm. Are you sure it's not serious? The traveler has been out for a long time now. What now? Yes, you can relax. Believe me, Master is extremely knowledgeable. If he says that he's going to be alright, then there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Oh, okay. are you awake now? And who is this? Oh, thank goodness! Traveler, you're finally awake! I mean... There are... There are already, already some discussion on who exactly is this person, but I actually forget, forget her name. Well, we're at... Uh... Good question. Where are we? Hyman was in such a panic when you passed out that she even forgot to ask what place this is. This is Nanarvaville. Um, it was originally built by scholars from Sumeru as a place to rest in the rainforest. Now it's mainly used by the forest rangers as a base of operations. My okay. name is Kali. I'm a trainee. Oh, the name's Kali. Oh, yeah. My master and I, I found you I passed I out during our patrol, her, her so name. we brought you here. <laughs> anyway, thank you for the help, Kali. Oh, no, no things are necessary. I didn't do anything, really. By the way, how are you feeling now? Any discomfort? Um, no, I think I'm fine except this taste in my mouth. Oh, it's so bitter. <laughs> That's Master's herbal medicine you're tasting. He gave you some while you were unconscious. Oh. Uh... Before I forget, Master mentioned you should take more medicine once you wake up. What kind of medicine is it? I mean, medicines are supposed to be bitter, but... 
Why should I? What? Oh, what now? Is that? Kale, what's the matter? Were you trying to retrieve the medicine? As I've already told you, you must be careful with these. All right, I'll get it for you once I'm finished here. Uh, mm. Sorry, Master. Master. <sighs> now, the guide to Avidya Forest okay, edible Nary. fungi is clearly posted on our bulletin board. But if Farbode forgets which mushrooms to avoid one more time, I'll have no choice but to leave the guide somewhere a little more visible. Like right smack on his forehead so others can remind him to be careful. Right? Mm -hmm. This is the second time he's come down with food poisoning this month. I'll be sure to give him a good talking to. Yes, please do. If, on the off chance, Farbode simply enjoys having little imaginary fairies dance before hey, his eyes... Hey, I just eyes, came here and I, I'm... But I'm actually ignored by this... Of our medicine, be sure to charge this, him uh, should I say they're my savior or what? Also... Um... Well, what is Stickner is talking about? And how do I instantly so, know his how name? how are you doing? Feeling better? Oh, this uh, is my yeah? master. Forest Watcher Tainari. He is chief Tainari. officer over all the oh, rangers yeah. here in Gondarverville. Wait, what? I thought I thought it was supposed to be Tignari. No, no. I already informed Paimon about the reason you fell unconscious earlier. But now that you're awake, let me explain it for you as well. It is common mm -hmm. practice for Sumeru scholars of certain darshans to dedicate themselves to training and meditation in isolated areas particularly the nearby forests. While meditating, they use a certain incense known as spirit borneol to help calm their minds as they enter a state of deep rumination. Ah, I see. So that's why the local were uh, doing such a ritual. In hopes of asking directions, you two followed a scholar named Hapasia into her cave. The mm -hmm. incense you smelled inside was the spirit borneol I just mentioned. That incense typically has no effect on most people, but for a very select few, it can have profound effects on one's cognition, as you experienced firsthand. Does that make sense? Okay, that all makes sense. Very good. Now, answer me this. Did you feel anything after passing out? Say, any out-of-body experiences? Or did you see anything while unconscious? Okay, I saw them. There, there's hmm. a bunch of, uh, a big tree, a giant tree, I mean. Kali, let the others know to stop bringing their patrol logs here for now. Uh, let the others know. Oh. Huh? W why? Because these two will be staying here for the next few days. They can have my room and I'll bunk with Amir. Now get a move on and be sure to do as I've said. Yes, Master Tainari. Okay, which, uh, the, way, the way to spell is Tainari. Sure, let me fill you in. I originally planned to send you on your way once you finished your medicine. However, okay. it appears now that you should stay a while longer in Gondarbaville for further observation while you recuperate. Further observation? Um, uh, we need to get to the Samurai City, actually. No need to be hasty. As long as you have the capacity to judge between right and wrong, I promise that you'll understand the gravity of the situation once I explain everything to you. Based on what you mm -hmm. saw after smelling the incense and losing consciousness, we can conclude that you experienced a powerful hallucination, a which powerful suggests hallucination. your mental state is not in the best of shape. If you're skeptical, have a whiff of this. Oh, um, are you okay? Okay, we, we ha we're you're feeling bad again. You're experiencing a similar sensation as when you passed out, aren't you? So even yeah. though your condition is stable as of now, if I were to haphazardly let you leave, it's highly likely that you'd suddenly pass out again somewhere else. Oh, the rainforest I is see. home to many fierce animals and hazardous areas. If something were to happen to you again, I'm afraid you might not be so lucky. For now, I suggest you continue taking your medicine each day and avoid wandering off on your own. Mm. At least until you stop having adverse reactions to this kind of smell, okay? Uh, I understand. So in Sumeru, there are, there are a lot of things like this, and it makes the traveler pass out often. And if we're not so lucky, we might even get killed by those wild animals. I think I think Tignori refers to wild animals around uh, Sumeru. I mean, 
if you're if you're asleep and some some things or someone's attack you, then uh, yeah, you might even be dead. Even even with even with boars or pigs or whatever it is. Good. Now continue resting while I fire up another bowl of medicine for you. Okay. Uh, seriously, we just arrived in Sumeru and we're already having problems left and right. Paimon knows we're set on meeting Lesser Lord Kusanali as soon as possible, but you really don't look too good. It'd probably be best to let you recover first. Uh, hey, are you even listening to Paimon? Paimon's over here worrying about you, you know. Okay, I feel it's a little weird. What's weird? You mean how you're feeling now? Uh, I don't think what I saw were hallucinations because you I couldn't contro even control the myself. Of tree roots and red skies you saw? Yeah. But if those weren't hallucinations, what could they be? Well, I wonder about that. It f it felt as if I was standing deep underground, but the red sky. Oh, could I have been high in the air? Well, considering how unique you are. Paimon trusts your judgment here, but why didn't you say anything about it to Tainari? If he misjudged your condition, then there's a chance you could get worse, right? Um, he probably wasn't even telling us the truth, and I also don't think that's the case. But of them should that be. You mean Tainari already answered. knows that what you saw were hallucinations? Um, if that's the case, why would he try to hide that from us? Um, I don't really understand actually, but we really have oh, to. Oh, Paimon gets it now. That explains why you were so quiet earlier. Well, that settles it then. We'll stay here to rest up and figure out what's going on with your hallucinations. But it seems like asking Tainari might not be an option anymore. <sighs> what do you think we should do? How about we start a chat with Kali? Good idea. Kali's pretty friendly. We can ask her tomorrow about what she knows regarding the Dendro Archon and customs in Sumeru. Alright, you get a night of rest, so we're skipping a day. Come on, it's time to go find Kali! Where exactly I am anyways? In Gun Gundarva Field. Okay. And I don't have to use that for now, I guess. All right, next let's see, right hand... Hmm, yes, not bad. But please remember that you still need to be careful, understand? <sighs> yes, I will. By the way, Master, I still haven't received the patrol route for today. Look, Kale, today's patrol will be a long one, so you won't be coming along this time. Besides, there's a chance we may encounter... Well, you understand. What exactly will... I but I have is talking too. about. <sighs> Am I useless to everyone now? Oh, okay. Not even, not even her, her. What is it called again? Her appearance is similar with Ganyu, but even, even her, her personality. I think, I think it's, it's also Don't similar. Like that Kale. This is not something you need to be worrying about right now. Ah, there you are. Feeling any better? Uh, yes. Uh, I think. Is there something we can help with? Yeah! Since we'll be staying here for now, we thought we might as well try lending a hand around here. <laughs> Seems you're not the type to sit back and take it easy for a while, huh? In that case, perhaps Kale could take you two for a patrol south of Gundarvaville for the day. And if you're feeling up to it, you can be responsible for cleaning the Statue of the Seven. Cleaning the Statue of Denari, the Seven. We're ready to head out. Roger! I'll be right there! All right. We'll be heading into the forest now. I'll leave any further details to Kale. Yes, okay. you can count on me. So, Kale, what exactly are we going to be doing today? Tainari mentioned cleaning the statue just now, but, uh, that doesn't really sound like the job for a ranger. Well, a forest ranger's responsibilities can be pretty diverse. They handle mm -hmm. a variety of tasks, like checking the condition of outlying roads, maintaining forest facilities, Ensuring fire prevention standards are met, and providing assistance to travelers and locals. Oh, travelers like us. As for Master, well, he has to handle more dangerous areas of the rainforest. Today mm -hmm. we can perform routine checks on the pathway lamps as we make our way to the Statue of the Seven. 
Mm hmm. So, which way is it again? Ouch! In the meantime, you two can keep an eye out for anything unusual. So we have to go uh, like this way. Check the lamps along the path. I I also really understand. I actually, I really like the view around Sumeru, even if it's just something like this. And wrong with these two lamps. Let's move to the next ones. Can I get this view point, please? Thank you. And then this Whoa. one. This lamp seems to be getting a little wobbly. Let me make a note of it. Okay. Hmm. No problems with this lamp. Good. No problems with this lamp. What are the differences between these lamps, anyways? Uh, go to the statue of the seven. The statue of the seven is up on top of that large rock formation. You must have seen it when you came down this road before. Yeah, I saw it. It's pretty high up there, isn't it? Don't worry. If you're afraid you can't make it up there, I'm sure Master wouldn't mind if you don't clean the statue. No need to worry. I'm a terrific climber. Oh? <laughs> I guess I'll leave it up to you then. There's not much footing once you reach the statue, so be careful up there. I'm mm. gonna fly up with you and help you with those hide-to-reach areas. Um, by the way, Kale, do you know anything about the Dendro Archon? You know, what's she like? Uh, that depends. Are you referring to Greater Lord Rukudavata or Lesser Lord Kusanali? So there are two lords, Rukudavata and Kusanali. Huh? Greater Lord Rukudavata? Oh, is that the name of the former Dendro Archon? Uh huh. Greater Lord Rukudavata ah, was the first Dendro Archon. She created the rainforest as well as the Wall of Samiel around the desert. Her works provided a means of peaceful living for everyone. To the people of Sumeru, she's not only a symbol of wisdom, but also of power and kindness. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. she disappeared in a great calamity that occurred a few oh, years ago. I know where this is going. This this definitely related with Kainria. According to what Master has told me, the sages later found the newly born Dendro Archon and whisked her back to Sumeru. To celebrate the reinstatement of their lost deity, the sages dubbed her Lesser Lord Kusanali and let her reside in the sanctuary of Sirastana. Uh-huh. Then what happened? Well, and then... Uh, uh... I'm not too sure what happened, to be honest. Hmm. Uh, you're not too sure? But aren't you from Sumeru? Yeah, I'm from <laughs> Sumeru. Uh, okay, I mean, but... Koli's still... still a, a teen. Maybe it's Maybe. difficult to discuss this topic with strangers. If that's the case, then don't worry. We no, I don't think that's the case, Paimon. No, no, it's not that. See? I'm not I told you. To hide something from you. Besides, I don't consider you two strangers. A anyway, you two know Amber, right? Okay, I know her. What? Yeah. Amber? You mean? Yeah, definitely. The outrider of the Knights of Fafonius. Yes, that's her. I once lived in Mondstadt for a while, and she helped me a lot during that time. You could even say that she helped me become a new person. There's no mm -hmm. one like Amber. She lives life to the fullest while always adhering to her strong sense of justice. She's ready to answer the call for action at any moment, but is also very understanding of others. She's like the spark that lights the fire in everyone's heart around her. If you ask me, she's a prime example of a true outrider. She's the first person anyone coming to Mondstadt will meet. Well, you can't cope with being thrilled uh, <laughs> by your charm and enthusiasm, causing you to fall in love with the lands of Mondstadt and... You know what, uh, we're talk- uh, I'd like to ask about Lesser Lord Kasanli, but it- somehow it ended up talking about Amber. And then? Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, we've never seen this side of this Kali, you know. Uh... You just described, but one thing's for sure, you really like Amber. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I was rambling on just now. It must have sounded kind of weird. <laughs> it's all it's right, fine, Molly. it's fine, yeah. Knowing that you're a friend of Amber somehow makes Paimon suddenly feel a lot closer to you. So, how do you know that we've met Amber? Well, after I returned to Sumeru, Amber and I have stayed in touch by writing each other letters. 
In one oh, way, I... she mentioned that Mondstadt uh -huh. was attacked by a fearsome dragon, but the city was saved by a mysterious blonde traveler and their floating companion. And actually, it's us, you I know. I knew you two were the ones she mentioned in the letter the moment I saw you, but uh, considering everything you've been through that day, I thought it'd be inappropriate to bring it up. Oh, uh... so that's how you knew. Yep. So please know that you two have my complete trust. Really. I wish oh, I could tell you more okay. about the Dendro Archon, but I have been away from Sumeru for some time, and I haven't read any books. It's okay. But it's okay. That's all right. You've already helped us a lot. We had never even heard of Greater Lord Ruka Devata or the Sanctuary of Surastana until you mentioned them. Sanctuary of Surastana? I don't recall Kali's oh, I'm happy that was saying helpful. such word. There is one thing I want to ask, though. Why do you two want to know about the Dendro Archon? Well, okay, so we explained hmm. the purpose of so our that's journey. Why you're here. Thank you for telling me your story. You know, the traveler wants to meet his sister. Don't mention it. We are friends after all, right? Yeah, we're friends, right? <laughs> all right, we have a statue to clean. You both have my thanks. While you two are up there cleaning, I'll go ahead and inspect the forest canopy. Let's meet back here shortly. Okay. So, climb to the top of the rock. Wait, 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 do I have to climb? I'm sure I could just use the what is it called again? I forgot. Okay, I'm gonna use. Wait, wait. Let me let me check. Where exactly should I go? Oh, this one. Okay, got him. <laughs> ah, I didn't get that one. No, no, no. Let's let's try again. Okay, got him. Perfect. It's 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 pretty it's pretty difficult actually, but you just have to spam huh. to spam T button. The deity that's carved on the statue is kind of small. Hmm. Do you think she's supposed to be Greater Lord Ruka Devata or Lesser Lord Kusanali? I'm pretty sure it's Lesser Lord Kusanali. The name does seem to fit the statue somehow. Hmm. Well, anyway, we'll have to figure that out later. Let's get started on cleaning the statue. Paimon will fly up and take care of the top, and you clean everything below. Okay, so we're cleaning the bottom part while Paimon cleans the top nice part. Work. That's one clean oh, statue. we don't actually have to clean it. Let's head down and meet up with Kale. Also, how about the okay, it's still it's still the crack's still there, I see. Okay, just like that. Um now we have to go back and meet with Kali. It's this way. Okay, there she is. Hello, Kali. Welcome back. You must be tired after all that climbing. I don't Let's really think so. Break. I brought some food and water for us. Yay! Food! What kind of goodies did you bring? Uh, Paimon? Uh, can you hold off your hey, appetite? Hey, don't It's not like Kali is a stranger <laughs> or anything. Besides, the best way to compliment a chef is to show passion for their food. Youngling taught Paimon that. Okay, you got a point. I prepared a nice portable <laughs> dish that forest rangers like to eat called Pita Pockets. I hope you'll like them. Uh, wh whoops! What uh, now? No, you dropped it on the ground! Oh, Not no. Not to worry. I wrapped a few layers of oiled paper around each pita. They should be fine. Oh, I, I see. <sighs> Old paper. Paimon nearly had a heart attack there. That reminds me of uh, local foods here. They use oil papers to to wrap Those up some food. Those pitas are amazing! You're quite the cook, Kale. Thank goodness you wrapped them in paper. Paimon wouldn't have been able to sleep at night knowing something so tasty had been wasted. <laughs> <laughs> you really know how to compliment the chef, Paimon. Since you liked it so much, I'll be sure to give you a copy of the recipe sometime. I'll Thank even you, include Kali? all my personal cooking pointers, so you'll be making your own pita pockets in no time. Yay! Thanks, Kale. It's hard to believe someone as diligent as you could have clumsy moments, too. Oh, <laughs> uh, I guess it happens from time to time. So, uh, Kale, don't you think that Tainari's a little too strict with you? He won't let you touch anything without his permission. Paimon knocks stuff over all the time flying around the Traveler, but he's never said anything. Uh, um, Paimon? No, no, you've got the wrong idea about Master. 
See? <laughs> sure, he may seem a bit harsh at first, but with some time, you'll see that he's actually very kind-hearted. I, I mean, he actually is. Say that Master is from in my opinion, in a mysterious race that is known for their cunning wit and reclusive nature. Oh, by the way, you've heard of the Academia, right? Well, there's a group called, uh, um, um, uh, um, um, uh, something. <laughs> well, anyway, because Master does a lot of research on plants, sages from the Academia have written him many times. Inviting him to take up an official position there. But Master declines okay. her offers every time, saying, Sumeru City is too noisy. It'd be bad for my ears. Picking off his ears, I'd really like to pet them. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? They've always wanted to pet them, too. <laughs> anyway, Master could have easily left the rainforest to take up a position at the Academia. But he chose to stay here instead as a forest watcher. Helping the locals every day and passing on his knowledge to trainees. In fact, mm -hmm. Master's the one who taught me how to make pita pockets. Really? Paimon would have never guessed that. Oh, speaking of Tainari, he was the one who took care of you after finding you passed out yesterday. He even carried you all the way here. Paimon's still kind of upset, though. He kept scolding Paimon the entire way here. And I wonder if you do something. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Master might have been overreacting a little, but uh, it's mostly because Paimon wouldn't stop yelling, Why, oh why, is he going to die? It probably started to get under Master's skin after a while. Hey! Don't laugh! Uh, <laughs> Paimon was genuinely concerned about you! I mean, I'm sorry Paimon, but I couldn't, I couldn't help myself <laughs> to laugh. <laughs> What's the matter, Kali? Sorry, Kali. Paimon didn't mean to scare Wait. you. You actually get scared? Uh, no, I, I just... I, I didn't mean that. Kali, are you okay? What's the matter? No, uh... I'm... <laughs> I'm fine. I'm sorry. I must have startled you both reacting like that. What was that? Oh. I didn't well, see that. it's getting late now. Uh, let's hurry back to Gandharva. What's now. going on? I think Master I have no idea. should be back by now too. Oh no. What now? Okay, anyway, we have huh? to go back and follow Kali. just now? And why is she in such a hurry all of a sudden? Look, she's practically running back. Paimon can't even see her now! Um... What's going on actually, but... Okay, I guess. Can I get this? A Dendroculus? Perfect. Um... Okay, we gotta go this way. Ah, traveler. You've returned. Yeah. But we're back! Uh, have you seen Kale by any chance? Oh. Kale? Yes, I saw her go into her room just a moment ago. Oh, mm. okay. Guess we'll just have to wait and talk to her tomorrow then. Yeah, I guess. She just rushed herself back to her room. Wait until 8 o'clock the following day. Okay, I have to change the time. Mm. 8 o'clock is like this. Okay, exactly. Now let's go. Alright, it's already 8 o'clock here. Nice. Paimon was thinking all night about what happened with Kali. And still can't figure out what the problem might be. Okay, we just went back here. Oh, no, it's what? you two. I was just about to go look for you. <clears throat> huh? Mm -hmm. Tainari, what are you doing here? Where's Kale? I came to check on Kale's condition. To put it simply, she's not well. She's not well, okay. You mean she's sick? How could she be... Oh, wait a minute. Could it be because of what Paimon did yesterday? No, no need to worry. <laughs> something as small as you could never harm her. Uh, this sickness is something that Kale has been dealing with for some time. Kale has been more excited <clears throat> than usual since you two arrived. 
A little too much so, to be honest. She hasn't remembered to take care of herself. <sighs> I suppose it's understandable, though. She hasn't been around anyone she considered a friend for some time now. It must have been refreshing for her to have you two here. So, Tainari, what's really wrong with Kale? Um, let's take this conversation elsewhere. Kale just fell asleep after taking her medicine. She needs some peace and quiet. Hmm, I see. Okay, Maybe follow she's in a better mood now. Let's go check on her. All right, okay, I let's guess continue there was our conversation here, shall we? Please? To be honest, I hadn't realized that you're that honorary knight from Mondstadt until Kale told me just now. I've also heard all about your deeds in Liyue and Inazuma. So, just to clarify, what I'm about to tell you about Kale is not because of who you are or your past feats. Instead, I am going to tell you because, well, because Kale asked me to. And okay. honestly speaking, I was against Kale revealing her past to you. But she insisted, saying you two treated her with sincerity and as a friend. So now she wishes to reciprocate the gesture. Well, of course, I mean, yeah, she she trusts us, right? Uh, I mean, it's not something that we should dig, actually. So, Tainari, what exactly <clears throat> is wrong with Kale? You said this is something she's been dealing with for some time. Just how serious is it? Right. Ever since she was a child, she's been afflicted with a disease called Elazar. Elazar? Elazar? Yes. It's a disease unique to the lands of Sumeru. It is characterized by dark and hardened scales that form on the body. At first, okay. the afflicted may only feel mild numbness on the affected area of the skin. However, as the disease progresses, one may begin feeling fatigued and even experience peripheral paresthesia. In its final uh -huh. stages, the disease strips a person of the ability to control their own body, and they effectively become completely immobile. Immobile? That sounds terrifying! So, they lose all control over their body? Wait, hold on. So when Kale seemed to be acting a little clumsy earlier, it was because... Correct. That would be the effects of Elazar, which is precisely why I do not want her carrying or holding anything, lest she ends up hurting herself. So, is there any cure for Elazar? With appropriate treatment, the disease can be effectively controlled before it progresses to a more serious stage. However... There is unfortunately still no true cure for Elazar. Nevertheless, Kale's mother still hoped that there was something out there. She handed Kale over to an organization known as the Fatu ah! after one of their members lied and said they had a cure. What? Fatui. The Fatui? Again. Uh, it appears you are already familiar with them. That'll save me some explanation. Thanks. Anyway, the person who eventually rescued Kale and brought her to me for care said that she had been given to a harbinger known as the Doctor. The Doctor? I have no idea how this Doctor managed to do it, but her case of Elazar was completely stable for all the years that Kale was with them. However, Kale's days with the Fatui were anything but pleasant. Kale is a resilient individual and always tries to appear cheerful, but her experience with the Fatui has left deep scars. Even now, huh? she can still feel deathly afraid of someone touching her. Oh, Paimon had no idea Kale's been through so much suffering. Oh, by the way, Paimon, Kale wanted me to tell you that she's sorry for scaring you yesterday. She also wanted both of you to know that she's sorry for hiding her illness. She doesn't need to apologize. None of this is her fault at all. Especially if it involves Fatui. Well said. I hope you'll get a chance to tell her that in person the next time you see her. Kale once thought that it would be impossible for her to have any real friendships. I trust that you two will never let my trainee experience such emotional pain again. Don't worry, Of course Kainari. no. We'll take good care of her. So, how's Kale's condition well, now? Well, it's not too serious at this point. She overexerted herself the last couple of days, which is what led to her breakdown this time. As long as she has taken her medicine and gets plenty of rest, she should get better. Though, I must admit that Kale's condition was much more stable when she first arrived here in Gundarvaville. She was interested in the work of the forest rangers the moment she saw us. 
I could see that she was serious about learning, so I felt compelled to ask her to join us. Her stamina has gotten much worse recently. Though a moderate amount of physical exercise is always necessary, I'm afraid the long-distance patrols are a little too much for her now. <sighs> Alright, now that I've told you about Kale's past, I think I'll head into the rainforest to find some ingredients needed for her medicine. I'll see you two later. Yeah, I actually want to come along with you instead, can we? Yeah, we'd like to do something to help Kale too! Exactly. Alright, but I must warn you two. The rainforest is a dangerous place, especially for someone who's still recovering like the Traveler. You must follow closely and listen to every instruction. No okay. Problem. Let's go then. We'll be looking for a plant known as Lunar <clears throat> Lotus. It's often used to help those afflicted with Elazar recover their energy. Plant known as Lunar Lotus. Okay, Lunar Lotus. Hey, Tainari? Where exactly are we going to find this plant? Lunar um, Lotus can be found all over the rainforest, but it often grows right here around Gundardaville. Um, what is second my Given the name, okay. it sounds like we should be looking for it in the water. We should be looking correct. in the water? Lunar Lotus grows in the water. When Milo fully Pala. matured, they look like what exactly flowers is it anyway? floating on the water's surface. Quite an attractive species, if you ask me. Uh -huh. The large petals are actually the plant's leaves and sepals, which surround a very small flower. Oh, I just You should it. note that many of the plants found in Sumeru have names that are contrary to their species. Names Take the Kalpalata, the... for example. The plant is not a lotus at all, but rather a vine. And then there's the Sumeru Rose, which is not a rose, completely contrary to its name. What? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> what exactly is it? Okay, just got a bunch of inactivated fungal, dormant fungal. There is no escape. Can I get this? Um, like this? Blum. Hyper Blum. Okay, inactivated fungal nucleus, fungal spores. Where exactly should I go next? Uh, can I fight this one? Oh, I didn't get him. I don't know what though. I'm just gonna kill this one. Okay, there we go. Okay, I guess that's all. Now we have to go collect herbs. Oh, it's down here. Oh, I thought I have to climb. Okay, it's here. There should be lunar lotuses growing somewhere in this area. Let's split up and begin searching. If you could manage to gather four of them, that would be sufficient. We'll rendezvous here sufficient. once you've gathered the needed amount. Okay. Oh, we, we're gonna meet uh, with, ty with Tainari back in there. Collect fresh Nitopala, Nilop Nilopala lotus. What is it? What is it called again? The Lunar Lotus. Oh yeah, the, the simple name is Lunar Lotus. Anyway, let's get this Lunar Lotus. Uh, the last one is over here. Let me get this one, thank you. Alright, we've gathered enough Lunar Lotuses. Let's head back to meet Tainari. Okay. Hey Tainari, we found the Lotuses you requested. Let me take a look. Hmm, good, very good. These are all excellent quality. I'm quite glad you two came along. Your exploration experience helped save me a lot of time here. It seems we even have enough time to stock up on some other things I need. Hey, Tainari! Oh, there's Amir. Oh, um, Tainari! Someone's calling your name! They're dressed like a forest ranger. Ah yes, that's Amir and the others. But didn't they just set off not too long ago? What are they doing back so early? Let's go find out what's going on. Okay, let's follow Tainari. Um, over here. Let me go this way. Tainari, thank goodness we found you here. We were just about to head back and find you at Gandarvaville. What's going on? Huh? We just discovered a withering zone. A withering zone? The withering is back? But the patrol route you were on should have been already cleared just a week ago. It reappeared so quickly. Can you tell me the exact location? 
It's up ahead, deep in the river valley. It's appeared in a spot that blocks nearly the entire narrow part of the valley area, so we decided to come find you as quickly as possible. And the radius of the contamination? Sorry, I couldn't get a clear enough view to tell. No one in our patrol team had a vision, and it appeared to still be spreading, so we didn't risk getting any closer. Okay, I understand. You made the right decision. I'll go deal with it right away. In the meantime, please guide these two back Wait, to Vendarva. Wait, can I, can I follow, Wait, get along hey, with Mary, you? Why don't you let us help you? Yeah. You two have only just arrived in Sumeru. You're still unfamiliar with many things in these lands. There's a unique type of anomaly that occurs in the Sumeru rainforest. It's called the withering. The yeah, affected area is you already ex vegetation explained to wither, that. I mean, you already told it's also lethal to, to wildlife and even people. If you don't carry a vision, then you should think twice before approaching such places. But I can do pearl elements without vision. Yes, Amir is absolutely right. I wasn't kidding when I said the rainforest is a dangerous place. As Amir said, only someone with a vision, that is, the power to manipulate elements, will be able to resist the withering's corrosive effects for a time. Well, I can manipulate elements, though That's I don't right. have any visions. If any of the forest rangers without a vision come across a withering zone, we first make a record of the location and then have a ranger with the proper abilities deal with it, like Tainari here. Only someone with a vision can venture within a withering zone and find a way to deal with it. <laughs> Okay, even though I don't have visions, I can still control the elements. You don't seem to carry a vision. Don't worry, he may not have a vision, but he's a real pro at using the power of the elements. Hmm, it seems the rumors about you are true. In that case, alright, you two may accompany me. We typically only teach visitors how to identify the withering as they're about to leave Gundarvaville. We'll make an exception today, and show you what it looks like up close. Okay, go to the withering zone. Um. Okay, we got another lunar lotus. Why? Why is it named Nilopala Lotus or whatever? Ah, it it slips my tongue so so bad. I'm just gonna say it, it's lo lunar lotus. Okay. Stop! Don't move any further. Look there in the distance. Huh? Where? Oh, look! Those plants have withered. That whole area is kind of gloomy. Even the air looks like it's filled with ash. Oh, Paimon doesn't like the look of this. That is the withering. All right, Traveler. We're going to have to enter that withering zone. Once inside, we'll need to look for what we call tumors of the withering. If we eliminate those, then the area will be saved. Okay, Thank let's you. do this. But I must warn you, don't push yourself. This is your first time handling this sort of thing, after all. Even with elemental mm. powers, once you step inside the withering zone, you may experience extreme discomfort. If at any point it becomes too much, return outside of the zone and take a breather. It could become a matter of life and death. You ready then? Let's go. Okay, let's go. Inside the withering zone. Got it. First, we must locate any branches sustaining the withering zone. Look for objective in this area. Um, what is this though? Summon the Dragrana. Uh, what exactly is this? Can I check this place first? Okay. So what exactly should I do with this? Summon the Dragrana. Like this? No. Um, I don't really understand how is it gonna work. Like this? No. Okay, so we have something like the withering whatever thing. I don't really understand what exactly it is. Can I get him? Quick him? Boom. Um, can I get this please? Spring forth! Bloom. Okay, nice one over there. Oh what what is this? Should I get away? Or get close? No? Oh, this is my this is my elemental burst, I see. Clear the withering zone. Um Collect the grana and then attack the withering branches with charge attacks and aim shots. Um Flash Okay, is that all? Summon the grana. Collect the grana and attack the withering branches. Like this? 
Oh, I see. That's how it works. Okay. Uh, how about this? Okay, one down. I think I should do the same thing over there. I mean, here. Oh, no, no, no. That no turning back. Can I get this one off first? It's a little bit hard. Uh, let me accustom myself first. Okay, what's next? Like, should I do? Summon another ginger granite, I guess. And use charge attacks like this, too. Um, where should I? Oh, should I attack this one? One down. Oh, there's there are a bunch of signs. Now that all the brains oh, have been what placed, was that? We need to take care of the tumor. We need to take care of the two more. Okay. Let me do this first. Terminate. Okay. Now, destroy the tumors of the withering. What now? Okay, so this is the two more. And returning to normal now. Yes. Thanks to you two. We were able to quickly restore this area back to normal. Um, uh -huh. Tainari? You make it sound like we did well, but why does Paimon have the feeling you're worried about something? It's that obvious, huh? Alright, it's like this. Recently, the rate at which the Withering Zone appears has been increasing. Even though we were able to quickly clear that Withering Zone, it won't be long before another one appears. If that simply meant more work for me, then that wouldn't be an issue. But it's far more severe than that. The withering is leaving lasting effects on the rainforest itself. For instance, even though we cleared out the withering zone, many of the plants that were affected will not recover. This presents a crisis for the ecosystem itself. Many plants in the rainforest are already in decline, directly impacting the wildlife that depends on those plants. And most disturbingly, as the appearances of withering zones have started to increase, Kale's case of Elazar has also become more serious. Huh? Well, why is that? Oh, is that I'm related? I'm not sure of the exact reason. However, I've received word from acquaintances at the academia that similar cases are being reported for patients with other conditions. Uh, is there no way to permanently get rid of the withering? No, none that we know of. The withering has been recorded in Sumeru for millennia. It's said that it originates from the depths of the world. By the way, have you heard of Ermensoul before? Mm, Ermensoul is a tree located deep beneath the surface. Although it isn't like any tree we know in a biological sense, you can basically think of it as a large tree that grows downwards rather than upwards. Grows downwards. I'm sure you've heard of ley lines, right? They're like the roots of Ermensoul, spreading and extending from a massive cavern deep underground all the way up to the surface. Um, sounds like... Yeah, definitely sounds a lot like what we saw when uh, the Traveler lost Ley lines continually absorb the memories of this world, which are then funneled into Soul, allowing it to collect knowledge and wisdom from ancient times to present day. The Dendro Archon is known as the God of Wisdom because her consciousness is directly connected to it. It is also said that the Dendro Archon's power is a manifestation of Soul. And as for the Withering... Its emergence is related to a disease that's affecting it. So, Ermin Solis said. That's right. My ancestors learned of this from Greater Lord Ruka Devata's familiars a long time ago. But even those mysterious creatures did not know of a cure for Ermin Soul. I'm afraid we rangers will be battling the withering zones here for a long time until a cure is found. All right, that's mm. enough on this topic for the time being. Now that we've taken care of things here, it's time for us to head back to Gondarbaville. Okay, now we have to return to Gandarva Field. There's no teleport waypoints around, so I'm just gonna teleport back to State of Seven, I guess. Or I'm just gonna walk anyway. Okay, we are close to our home. Where exactly should I go? Oh, that way. Okay, just like that, and there we go. Perfect. <laughs> oh, Tainari, you all made it back. How did it go? The withering zone you reported has been taken care of. No need to worry. Huh. Wait, is that... 
Um, a parrot? Oh no, Hypatia! Hypatia? Huh? Um, hello? What's wrong, Tainori? This dusk bird is Hypatia's designated courier for urgent news. You do remember her, don't you? She's the scholar you and Paimon were following when you first arrived in Sumeru. This the... Wait, what? Oh, her? How could we forget? Uh, so did something happen? Let me see what's written in the letter first. Hmm. So what's it say? And what's with that weird expression on your face? Uh, just let Paimon read it. Huh? Uh, all Paimon sees are three squiggly lines. <sighs> yes, allow me to explain. After we brought you from Hypatia's cave to Gondarvaville, Hypatia resumed her meditation. She must have then? just finished. It's been nearly three days since she's had anything to eat, and it appears she's forgotten to prepare some rations. This letter is her asking us for help. We need to go. What? You mean she's been sitting there for three days? Hey, wait, how did you know all that from just a few lines on the paper? Well, obviously because this has happened before. Last time she drew five lines, and by the time we found her... <clears throat> well, I'd prefer not to remember that. Needless to say, Hapasia's been through worse, but we should still get to her as quickly oh. as possible. I've got some emergency rations set aside for times like these. Paimon, Traveler, could you two bring these to her? Wait, you want us to bring her the rations? Uh, but will the Traveler be okay if her cave is still filled with that funny incense? Let's find out. Here, Traveler, take a smell and see. So, how do you feel? Mmm, it's a light and refreshing fragrance. No unusual feelings this time. Huh? Really? You're not feeling even a little drowsy? But yeah? wait, how'd you know that he'd be okay this time, Tainari? Back when we were clearing the withering zone, I observed that he could adeptly manipulate the dendro element. I knew then that he would be fine. And if I may ask, when I was telling you two about Ermin Soul's ley lines, was what I described similar at all to what you saw while you were unconscious? Mm, what is our hallucinations for today? That's correct. Those weren't hallucinations at all. Though I don't intend to apologize for deceiving you. Because what you saw is of significant importance. Not just for the nation of Sumeru, but the entire world of Tavat. My forefathers um... were shown much favor by greater Lord Ruka Devata. We took an oath to protect this nation together with her. Now that that duty has fallen to me, it was part of my responsibilities to ascertain whether you could be entrusted with the fate of Sumeru. Oh, I understand about that. Now, after seeing you in action with my own eyes, you have earned my confidence, and I no longer feel the need to hide any secrets from you. So, what exactly was it that I saw? When you passed out, your consciousness had connected directly with Ermansoul. What you witnessed were actually real memories contained within Ermansoul itself. I could try to tell you more, but it would be better if you went to ask Hapasia instead. Her focus on meditation and use of spirit Borneol are aimed at establishing a connection with Ermansoul, just as you did. Uh, that sounds nice and all, but will she really help us? Seriously, she completely ignored us the last time we tried talking to her. That was because when you ran into her, she was in a special phase of her training. During that time, she must avoid communicating with others. Please, wait here for a moment. Mm. Oh. And... Okay. Hello, parrot. <laughs> he just went away. Okay, take no respect. Here. Take these. It's a meal I packed for Hypatia, as well as some other ingredients. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Also, okay. here's a letter that I would like you to give to her. Just show it to her and she'll answer any questions you may have. Thank no. you. I should be the one thanking you. You've both been a great help these last few days. Hypatia should still be in the cave. Let's go inside and see how she's doing. Um, okay, so we need to go back to the cave where Hypatia's meditating. I'm just gonna teleport through the statue and let's go just like this. Be in the cave. Okay. Let's go inside and see how she's doing. Um 
I shouldn't I should just skip that final lines anyway. But let's go. Let's Hello! Start. that song what now it's been an hour hmm. it's Alpacia um is she okay and what is this thing this moving Little buddy? Huh? What now? Mm. Okay. Now what? What was that? Oh, there it's gone. Okay. Hi, Pesha. Are you alright? <gasps> Ah, oh, so hungry. <coughs> eat water. There's no way we can get her to eat in her current condition. Uh, let's try finding some water first. Okay, huh? let's get some water Wait, first. Why does it look super foggy outside all of a sudden? Uh, anyway, let's go look around. Okay, let's look around. Um... Go through the m wait. It's totally uh, different than before. How things out here end up looking like this? Oh, how? What happened? And where are we? Uh, relax, really? relax, Paimon. Oh, maybe you're right. Let's go investigate the area. <laughs> okay, let's investigate the area. And where exactly are we? What? Wait a second. Wait, you gotta be kidding me. What's going on here? Oh wait a second. Okay, it's we're we're actually outside whatever it is here. Um, door of resurrection activated. So we suddenly transported to a domain for the system. Wow, this place is huge. I knew there's something off about that cave. Uh, let's think of a way to get over there and have a closer look. Who knows? Oh, there's a chest here. Really? Okay, anyway, let's go up this. Bouncy mushrooms in domains. You will sometimes find bouncy mushrooms. Uh, not one of three locks in the craters that are known, blah, 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 whatever. Um, okay. So, where should I go next? And what is this place? Okay, I shouldn't. I'm not supposed to go here. So I definitely have to jump the mushroom. Oh, I can go this way. Perfect. Ah, oh, what now? Investigate the coin room? I couldn't move. Okay, we just... Wait, we're back to Inazuma? Or what? Ouch. What's going on here? And another... Another dimensional trait. What is it? Or whatever it is. Okay, we just went back here. Oh, we teleported back here. Nice. Let me get this. Pick up. Oh. Oh, we just got back this way. So, no what? Oh, we're supposed to go here. I see. Uh, what's next? Okay, this way. And then? Mm, here. Um, next one should be this way. And we got a bunch of companies to fight with. Let me get this, please. Boom. Okay, nice. 
this one over there. Flash. Um, this one's over. Propagate. Propagate. Oh, my energy is already full. No turning back. Now you shall. Let me get this one. This, just like that. Scatter. Scatter. Okay, great. Uh, what's next? Oh, we have to go this way. Where am I? F oh, I'm flying. Interesting. Keep looking for a path to the upper level of the tree hollow. I have no idea where exactly I am right now. Um. Okay, we're flying down here. This and get this, I guess. Oh, what was that? Ouch, got hit. Okay, how am I supposed to go up this way? Uh, can I just jump? There's supposed to be a jump at the round. Oh my bad, I should go this way. Here? Um, wait, okay, there we go. And then... what now? Wait, where's where that way should I go? Oh I didn't see that up there. Uh can I? Can I? No? You can't? No. Okay, there we go. Nice just like that. Uh-huh. And this way I guess. Let me get this. And let's go up uh Oh we have to we have to aim to we gotta we gotta look look at this thing so that we could teleport, and it has a uh, white rings I see. Also this way, like this. Activate. Okay, nice. Oh, we're teleported back again to wherever we're going through. The courtyard far down the corridor. What is going on here? This place is getting weirder by the minute. Hey, what's the matter? You don't look so good. Am I? Um, can I jump here? No? What was that? Investigate the court here. Oh, we have to go this way, okay. No? What now? Oh, um, we need to go here and look at this dendro stuff, whatever thing. Can I make it? Uh, how am I supposed to do this part? Okay, this is a little bit difficult. What exactly am I doing with this? Uh, whatever stuff. No, it's not supposed to be that way. It's supposed to be. This, I guess. Oh, this way. Okay, great. Gotta zoom in the camera. And then. Oh! It just changed. Now we gotta go to the door. Okay. It's. The mechanism is a little bit complicated. Um. Can I. Ah! My bad. Uh, oops. Okay, we got back to the. Uh, to the platform. Um, this way, just like this, nice. Okay, we just have another drift. Um, oh, there's something over there. Can I just teleport? I mean, can I just get the thing? So we have to aim our camera to the middle of this thing. What if I... What if I get... A, oh, okay. At least I should be able to see this and have a... Um, a little preservation square. Okay, let me get this. Okay, that's how it works, I guess. It's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> well, well, well. Look Stop Never talking. What are you planning to do in this strange place? Strange place. Plotting. Ah, uh, this thing again. We gotta be careful. Let the show begin. Huh. Spring forth. Get off. 
Oh, oh no, got hit. My bad. Oh, whoa, 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 that hurt. Can I get him off, please? Oh, another hydro, okay. Also, I need this one too. Oh, no, 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 hold on. Oh, my bad. Nope, there was. Get off. Oh, I don't like this. I couldn't even de defeat this thing. Why can I? Why can I kill the Herald? Huh? Why can't we beat this guy? Oh, Paimon doesn't get it. We faced others like him before. What's wrong this time? Traveler, though you may have managed to avert countless crises before, your good fortune was bound to end sooner or later. It's time you realize how weak and powerless you really are. Well, my journey won't end here. Your sister. <laughs> oh, her Just get off. Long since forsaken you. Your meager existence in her eyes is that of an annoying bug, only to be stepped upon. The bonds of love and family which drive you to find your sibling are utterly gone. Your journey is meaningless. But don't you fret now. Today will be your last. Now die! What now? Okay, looks like it's going all out again, I guess. No? Or... Uh, I'm... I guess our sister is gonna save us. Wait, there's no more fights? What now? Oh! He's gone. What was all the just now? It feels like I was just dreaming for a moment there, but I can't remember what I saw, okay? Hmm. What do we do? We haven't seen Hapatia anywhere out here. I didn't even remember. I I named the traveler a traveler. Oh, there she is! Quick! Let's see how she's doing. Ah, oh, so sweet. Mm. Well, the good news is that she's still conscious. Hey, why'd you drop her food on the floor like that? Um. Uh, okay, I kind of zone out for a second there. Uh, are you okay? That's really not like you. Anyways, we can talk about this later. We better make sure she's alright first. Let's see... Whoa! Wait a sec. Look at all this fruit lying around her. We can put that to good use. After leaving, giving you semi-conscious, hey, pass you some water and fruit juice. Uh, oh, we get for fruit juice, I see. Who is there? Tainari, is that you? Uh, um, okay, there's a pass here. Huh? It's okay, you can relax, Hapatia. Tainari sent us here to bring you some food and water. Here, we have a letter that he asked us to give you. Mm, you give Hapatia the letter from Tainari. Tainari. Wait. Ah, still really hard to spell Tainari. I what see. Now? So, you're friends of Tainari. I apologize for all the trouble I've caused you. I'm grateful that you came so quickly to save me. You even brought all this fruit. Uh, well, actually, we didn't bring the fruit. It was already here when we arrived. We were kind of wondering about that, actually. When we found you here, there was all this fruit lying around and even some juice dripping from your lips. Uh, how did you end up like this anyway? Oh, really? Hmm, I seem to understand now. All the fruit was likely from my, uh, neighbor. Must have come by and saw me like this. Your neighbor? You mean there's someone else living nearby? Um, kind of like a cabbage. Oh? So you're able to see them too? Hmm, yeah, actually we found... Wait, we hold saw on a second, one. Traveler. You say that before we arrived, you saw some mysterious creature and suddenly had a strange dream? Isn't that a little too crazy to believe? No, I actually do believe what the Traveler is saying. 
I myself had a similar experience once before and ended up scaring my timid little neighbor here. You needn't worry. They mean you no harm. They only dragged you into the dream because they hoped to buy themselves a little time in order to scurry away. So, Hypatia, just what kind of creature is your neighbor exactly? I'm not sure what it's called, to be honest. But I do know that they have some sort of deeper connection with the Dendro Archon. I know this because the first time I saw them was also the exact day my consciousness was able to form a connection with Ermin's soul. Okay. Even after I opened my eyes and stopped meditating, my heart was still pounding, and my mind was racing with all the knowledge that I had touched. And at that very moment, I suddenly noticed a small figure at the opening of the cave. In my curiosity, I began to walk over to the creature. They must have already been used to me living in the cave, because they didn't seem to mind me approaching them. They just kept doing whatever they were up to. It wasn't until I crouched down next to them that they suddenly realized that I could see them. Oh! And then? And then, I had a dream. By the time I came to, they were nowhere to be seen. I was convinced they'd never show up again. But, sure enough, I saw them nearby a few days later. And they weren't alone. I feel like they aren't as afraid of me as the first time I approached them. But I never would have expected them to save me. What a fascinating creature. Yes, no doubt about that. By the way, Tainari mentioned in his letter that you had questions for me regarding Ermansoul. Yeah? Um... <laughs> Sorry about that. Sounds like just drinking juice still isn't quite enough for my stomach. Well, if somebody hadn't dropped the food earlier... <sighs> anyway, looks like we'll need to prepare something ourselves. Besides... Paimon's getting hungry, too. Let's eat first and talk about Ermansoul later. All right, okay. up, Traveler. Today's menu will feature sweet madame and a radish veggie soup. You'll love them, Hypatia. Mm, sounds good. I've never tried any dishes from other nations before. Okay, I think I'm gonna skip this line and make some fort by the fireside. Wait, I really have to go there? Because I can just make food. Okay, make box lunch. Oh, okay, we actually have to make some food over there. All done! Let's use the empty box that Tainari gave us since we already washed it. Oh, it smells amazing! And the box is a nice touch too! Let's go serve this up and start eating with Hapasia! Hey. Give Hapasia the food we made. To her, for her. Are you already finished cooking? Mmm, smells delectable. Okay, let's see. We have a box lunch from the traveler, and give it to Hypatia. After a delicious meal together, you tell Hypatia about connecting with Ermin. Even soul. though everything you mentioned was in Tainari's letter, it's still hard to believe you were able to connect with Ermin Soul. Immediately after smelling spirit born eel for the first time. It took me nearly three years before I could do so. And everyone at the academia even lauded me as a genius. You should know that some researchers spent their entire lives without ever successfully connecting with Ermin Soul as you have. So why does this incense allow people to connect to Ermin Soul? The ingredients mm. used to make spirit born eel primarily consist of plants created by Greater Lord Ruka Devata. These special ingredients are conducive to heightening our senses to the Dendro Archon's power. Since the root of the Dendro Archon's power lies within Ermansoul, we can occasionally tap into her powers to peer into the depths of the earth. Uh, Naturally, I I understand. anyone who can establish a connection with Ermansoul in their first ever attempt must be a person of great understanding. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. But Paimon's got a question. Why was he sensitive to the smell of those plants for such a long time? That was primarily due to his body's unique constitution. Stimulated by the incense, he could perceive the Dendro Archon's power and experience the sensory overload. Hence the adverse reactions. Taking in any scent similar to the ingredients of Spirit Born Ale would cause adverse effects. Not to worry though, it appears you've already fully recovered. Technically, your body should still be sensitive to the powers of the Dendro Archon. 
but unless you're using intentional meditation techniques, the scent of spirit borne ale should no longer trigger such reactions. Whew. Well, that's a relief. I must admit, I am quite envious of your abilities. Even if it meant suffering from pounding headaches for the rest of my life, I'd consider it worthwhile so long as I could connect with Ermansoul at will. Whoa! You're really serious about this whole thing, aren't you? <laughs> I am a researcher, after all. As a member of the Ritaoist Darshan at the Academia, my main area of research is the stars and their connection to the fate of living beings. But there is still so much we don't know, especially regarding the mysteries that lie in the starry skies. Which is why I must turn to the all-knowing Ermansoul for answers. This, uh, this conversation is getting so deep, I can't even get along with the... If with only my perception Hibisia wasn't so about. limited. Unfortunately, I cannot guarantee that my every attempt to attune with Ermansoul will be successful. Or that doing so, I am currently in the stage of training known as Satyavada Life. Satyavada. Many researchers in Sumeru have lost their minds while seeking to attune with Ermansoul during this stage. Sages have said that Ermansoul contains divine knowledge, and touching such knowledge without the proper preparations and abilities will only lead to one's mind caving in on itself. That's why we meditate alone. We need to ensure that our minds will be calm, while minimizing the possibility of involving anyone else. Wow! So knowledge from Ermansoul can be super dangerous! Aren't you afraid of the risk, Hapasia? Of course I do. Especially during nights that are pitch black with no moonlight, and dead silent without even the sound of insects. However, I've been feeling better as of late. I don't get as scared anymore knowing that I have a little neighbor living nearby. I believe that being able to see them is a sort of blessing from the Dendro Archon. <laughs> but what's strangest of all is that they're clearly an envoy of the God of Wisdom herself. And they have the curious power to make people dream. What's so strange about that? It doesn't sound so out of place for a divine being, does it? Well, it's strange because nearly nobody in Sumeru can ever dream. Huh. Oh, is that true? Yes. Well, to an extent. Only children can dream in Sumeru. Adults, however, never do. The sages say that wisdom implies rationality, but that which occurs in dreams is often neither rational nor logical. Reminds me of the dream I saw from the Arunara. Yes, if one struggles with anxieties, those emotions could influence their dreams. The fact that the people of Sumeru do not have dreams is seen as a blessing by the sages. They believe that Greater Lord Ruka Devata, the God of Wisdom, is keeping us away from the foolish delusions you encounter in your sleep. I was born into a family of scholars in Sumeru City. Ever since I was a child, my parents would always tell me that I'll know I've grown up once I stop dreaming. I studied hard, enrolled as a student in the academia, and went on to become a researcher. <sighs> sure enough, I never dreamed again. But then... On the day I scared the little Aranara, I suddenly saw a dream again. It was incredible. Though I don't exactly remember what I saw, okay. I clearly recall the feeling. I suddenly felt like I was a child again. Well, for me, it was a bad dream because there was an Abyss Herald. Back then, I was foolish and ignorant as any youth would be, but I was free of fear. Maybe dreaming isn't as bad as we've made it out to be. <clears throat> uh, just be sure not to speak of this if you travel to Sumeru City. They'll look at you as if you've lost your mind. So, it's okay, it's do you okay. have any thoughts about the I things got, he saw uh, when he connected with Ermansoul? I'll keep that in my mind. Sorry, I'm afraid I don't have any answers as of now. All I can say is that what you saw is a memory contained within Ermansoul itself. Hmm. World forget me. What could that possibly mean? World, forget me. Uh, if only I could ascend past Satyavada life and begin pari- uh, If you two are ever in the area again, please be sure to come and see me. Okay, thank you, Hypatia. There's no need to be thanking me. You two are my saviors. Okay, so we'll continue chatting before settling down for a good night's rest. Now that we know Hypatia is alright and had the chance to ask her some questions, Paimon thinks it's about time to head back to Gandharvaville. Yeah, me too. Let's go back to Gandharvaville. Return 
this way okay this will be a long ride but I prefer using this please perfect also can is there another path oh there's another one there um, I'm still too far okay there we go perfect okay this is even faster than I thought it's gonna be I really like this way of uh, traveling it's like the electro granum's mechanism, but it's even it's even further and more flexible. Think about it, Tainari. Refusing to join is tantamount to burying your head in the sand. I understand that you're a forest watcher and that it's your duty to combat the effects of withering zones. But isn't it evident that such work is not a lasting solution to the problem? As Sage Kajay clearly stated, your presence and guidance in Sumeru City is pivotal in finding a cure for Ermansul. How could you possibly refuse? Keep your emotions in check, Gulam. Let's at least listen to Tainari's reason for declining. We're here to invite him to the Academia, not to cause a scene. Sage Kaje, I am truly honored that you came here in person, but I'm afraid I must still decline your invitation. I am merely a forest watcher. How could the great minds of the Haravatat have any need of someone like me? <laughs> well, it turns out that your refusal letter had some implications on your master's reputation. He is a renowned sage of the Immorta, after all. So now I've come here in his stead. I see. Huh. And I figured that given his temper, he would come here and berate me personally. Tainari, your master is an integral part of this effort, and now he requires your assistance. And what exactly does my master need of me, Sage Kaje? You'll know, once you've arrived in Sumero City, that is. And how long will I be required to stay? Um, there's no definite answer as of now. Then Tainari will also gonna refuse. Do you refuse. mean to tell me that despite coming all the way here to Kandarbaville, you still can't answer the questions I laid out in the letter to my master? If that's the case, then I'm afraid I cannot give you a definite answer either. Tainari, but you... Uh, so be it. Come, Gulam, we're leaving. Hmm... I have no idea what's going on here, but Tainari insists to not joining the Academia and stay as the Forest Ranger. And hello there, we just passed by. Sage, whatever the name is again, I forgot. What was that all about? It's nothing. Some people from the Academia wanted me to go to Sumeru City to assist them with a project. But I had to refuse on account of all my responsibilities here. Okay. But all that can wait. How did things go with Hapasia? It was uh... quite the eventful trip. But the main thing is that she's safe and sound. She answered a bunch of questions for us, too. Uh-huh. Very good. Now that the Traveler has made a full recovery, there shouldn't be any reason for you to tarry here longer. I assume you will be heading to Sumeru City, correct? That's right! Yeah. We want to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali and ask her for advice! Um, do you have any idea on how we can find her? Sorry, I'm afraid I don't have any advice for you there. Well, do you at least know anyone we can try asking in Sumeru City? Hmm, let me think. My trips to Sumeru City have been fairly short, and most of my acquaintances are researchers. How about this? I'll write you a letter of introduction that you can give to a researcher I know. He's from the Amorta Darshan and is adept at gathering information. Asking him might prove worthwhile. Also, when you enter Sumeru City, you'll probably end up receiving something like this item here. I'm not sure if it will ever come in handy for you, but maybe you can give it a try. Oh, okay, and what would that be? It's called an Akasha Terminal. It's a tool produced by the Academia that utilizes the legacy of Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Some say that this very item is the basis of Sumeru's reputation as the City of Wisdom. Needless to say, <coughs> this device and its usage fall under the Academia's expertise, mm. so I'll leave it to them to show you how to use it. Great! Next stop, Sumeru! But wait, before that. Yeah, we need to say goodbye right. to Kali. Kainari, we have something important to say to Kali before we leave. Is she doing better?
better now? Yes, she's doing much better. After being confined to her bed all this time, I thought a little walk would do her some good. Last I saw her, she was taking the path towards the North Crossing. She knew you two would be leaving soon, so she must have wanted to see you off. Thanks, Tainari. All right, let's go. Farewell, and good luck to you both. Okay, looks like this might be our last meet with Tainari for a long time. Okay, we gotta say goodbye to Kali, and let's go to the Sumeru City. Next stop, Sumeru City. Ah, I've been waiting for you two. I, uh... Well, uh... <sighs> Never mind. I guess mm -hmm. I should just wish you two a safe and successful journey. Thanks for waiting here just to see us off, Kale. We're headed to Sumeru City. And please take care of yourself, Kali. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. My condition won't be getting in the way of my duties. I want to be a forest ranger after all. It's up to me and the others to protect the rainforest here. And, uh... Well, uh... I'm sorry. I should have told you both about my condition when we first met. I just wanted you two to treat me as a normal friend. Not some girl that needs your sympathy. No, no, but no, no, no. I guess no, no. now I understand that the okay. most important thing is for friends to be genuine with one another. Yeah, exactly. There's no need to apologize, Kale. We should be thanking you for trusting us enough to be your friends and sharing your past with us. We're probably still gonna worry about your condition, but that's because we're friends and we care about you. Thank yeah. you. That means a lot. Uh, before you leave, I have something for you. Oh? What is it? It's my recipe for pita pockets. I told you that I'd give you a copy, remember? My handwriting is a little, uh, messy, so please don't laugh. Yay! Mm, Thanks, Kale! Okay. Now we can eat those scrumptious little pitas whenever and wherever we like! I hope that whenever you eat them, you'll both remember your time here in Gandharvaville. Of course well, we will. I, Trainee Forest no, Ranger Kale, about it. <laughs> you both farewell. Please visit Gandharvaville again. The Rangers will always be ready to assist you here. Okay, perfect. Looks like... Uh, we're go. We're gonna head off to Sumeru City. It's 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 around here. Okay, we have to follow the path over here, and there's a bridge, and then we're we'll be arriving to Sumeru City. And I'm gonna skip this part because it's gonna take a super long time, you know. But instead, I got a few point here together with a Dendro Crystal Fly, and I open a teleport waypoint. So I'm just gonna skip a path and. Uh, continuing my way this over here, I mean. Oh, we still find some heli girls. I guess I'm gonna have a little fight here. Yo, I want to do all of that! Wow, whoa, 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 okay, 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 okay. What was what exactly was that? I didn't realize I I just triggered something and it lets me get a Denver Coolus. Thank you. <laughs> my bad. Okay, anyway, let's continue our path again. Okay, we just arrived to uh, at the bridge to the Sumeru city and also over here we have a teleport waypoint to open. I'd like to open the teleport waypoint, so let's go up there. Oh, it's not up there, I just have to go this way. And let me get this, thank you, perfect, nice. And okay, we're close to the entrance. And here we go. Sumeru City! Ah, we finally made it! Oh, Sorry. did you see that? When those people entered the city, something on their heads lit up. One moment please, you two. It appears this is your first time visiting Sumeru City. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. How did you know that? Because there's currently no information on either of you in the Akasha. But no need Akasha. to worry, that won't prevent you from entering the city. In fact, the Academia conveniently provides each traveler to Sumeru City with a device. Perhaps you two have heard of the Akasha before. It's our beloved Greater Lord Rukadavata's lasting legacy. A treasure trove of collected knowledge. After centuries of tireless research on the Akasha, the Academia created one of its most ingenious inventions, the Akasha Terminal. As long as uh -huh. you are within Sumeru's borders, you may use an Akasha Terminal to connect directly to the Akasha and access any knowledge you need. 
the way they present Sumeru City, I really love it. I should mention that due to technical limitations, the operation of Akasha terminals will be much smoother and more effective in large cities such as Sumeru City and Port Hormos. Oh, so this is the thing that Tainari was telling us about. It sounds pretty amazing. You two are quite fortunate. Until recently, it was standard practice to only issue Akasha terminals to outlanders who spent an extended amount of time in Sumeru. However, this policy was recently changed, and now all travelers are issued one upon arrival. Here are your Akasha okay. terminals. Please handle them with care. Thank you. Akasha terminals. <laughs> it kind of looks like a leaf. To activate it, simply hold it in your hand and say the following phrase to yourself. <clears throat> May the mighty God bless us with their voice of wisdom. Oh, since this little doodad lets you access knowledge, maybe we can use it to find a way to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali. Let's give it a try. Okay, let's give it a try. <clears throat> May the mighty God bless us with their voice of wisdom. May the mighty God bless us with their voice of wisdom. Oh, what was that? Okay. <gasps> Whoa! Just now, something clicked, and Paimon suddenly knew how to use this thing. It seems all we need to do is concentrate on what we want to know, and bam, you get it. Oh, that'll come in real handy. Exactly. Okay. That is the power of the Akasha. And with that, let me officially welcome you both to Sumeru City. May the wisdom of the Dendro Archon always be your guide. Okay, mm. now that we're in, we can check the Akasha about Lesser Lord Kusanali. Let Paimon try. Hmm. <gasps> 500 years ago, the sages found a newly born deity from within some scorched ruins. The deity now resides in the sanctuary of Suristana. Hmm. Seems pretty similar to what Kali was telling us. Okay, next, let's concentrate on asking how to meet her. Hmm. Uh, huh? Uh, Hyman doesn't sense anything. Um, hmm. The Akasha didn't respond to Paimon's question. The same happened to me. Oh, come on! Ugh. Focusing on this question feels like when you have something you're trying to remember and it's on the tip of your tongue but you just can't think of it. Ugh. Paimon's brain. I'll press King the Akasha something oh, else. Smart idea! But what are you going to ask it? Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna ask about the, where my sister is. No? Thing. Oh! There are, there are just a bunch of this. Greater Lord the Kruka the Father, Lesser Lord Sanali. <laughs> How about we sing? Why doesn't the Akasha answer my question? A vague thought suddenly comes to my mind. The Akasha doesn't unconditionally respond to every query. Even if same query is requested by multiple people, the Akasha still imparts knowledge based on each person's identity, age, experiences, and other demographics. Huh. Ah, I see. Could it be because we're outlanders and we've only just arrived in Sumeru? You know, maybe we're not qualified to receive an answer to this sort of question or something. Hmm, thing, lesser Lord Kusanali? Some knowledge began to trickle into mine for a moment, but there wasn't really anything I didn't really know. Hmm. You too? Well, glad it's not just Paimon. Okay, for the last one, Greater Lord Ruka the Fada. Many bright thoughts of light appeared in my mind, probably need to calm my mind and focus more to understand what they mean. Feelings of affection, intimacy, nostalgia, sadness, and anxiety also come to my mind. This seem to be what the people of Sumeria feel about their departed Arkham. Uh oh. Hyman's getting all teary eyed all of a sudden. It feels like the people of Sumeru really miss their Archon. <sighs> well, seems no matter which way we try, we can't find anything that'll lead us to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Hmm. Guess our only choice now is to try meeting with the researcher that Tainari recommended. He's from Sumeru and even has a position in the academia. Maybe he'll be able to access more info from the Akasha. So, Let's looks see. like we're gonna. Tainari wrote an address on the letter's envelope. Oh, it's not far from the city's gate. Let's okay, should be here. Handed all the cumbersome Hello, are you Rohawi? Yes, that's me. Can I help you? Great! 
You see, Tainari sent us here and... What? Tainari? I... Please, th there's no need to say anything, really. Sure, I admit that the article I published last month wasn't my best work. Um, maybe the data didn't produce the most convincing results, but... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think you have, you've you misunderstood here, us. this is a letter from Tainari! Oh, let me see... Ah! Ooh, what a relief. You two nearly scared the life out of me. So, you two just have some questions for me? Seems yeah. even Tainari acknowledges my innate ability for procuring information. So, what is it you two would like to know? We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. Do you know a way we can do that? You mean you want to meet the Dendro Archon herself? Ah, uh, this isn't exactly my area of expertise, but let me see what I can find in the Akasha. Mm, pretty sure it's... Sorry, the Akasha didn't respond to my query. Well, we already tried what? that, you actually. Can't? But what about your abilities for getting information and all that? <sighs> I'm almost sure you'd be able to access more info than we did. Well, as I said, this isn't my area of expertise. I am but a lowly researcher, so the Akasha doesn't see a need for me to know more about the Dendro Archon. All I know is that ever since Lesser Lord Kusanali returned to Sumeru, she's never left the Sanctuary of Sorasthana or made a public appearance. Huh. Didn't expect her to be such a mysterious figure. The Dendro Archon is somewhat of a recluse. Perhaps she just doesn't want to entertain visitors, which would explain the lack of information in the Akasha. Aw, but then what can we do? <laughs> no need to worry just yet. I'm only hypothesizing here. You could certainly try asking around and see if anyone else has ideas. And besides, you two should consider the bright side of things. Not being able to see Lesser Lord Kusanali may not be a bad thing. In this world, there will always be information you cannot obtain from the Akasha and things you can never accomplish. Knowing when to yield is a form of wisdom. So basically, the device we have, the what is it called again? The Akasha. Um, it's like... It's like... Uh... I'm gonna say it's like a Google, but in a but of course it it connects with our brain, so whatever we want to try to find some information, it will be immediately pop up into our brain instead of reading it manually. Take me for you know? example. It's a miracle if my brain cells can spit out one paper every three years, but Tainari, that guy can publish three papers in just a single year. Don't mention it. If you two ever want information about things like who's been promoted within the academia or relations between the six great sages, come find me. You so by area of expertise, hey, you mean this on. kind of stuff? This is a survival skill at the academia. Oh, Paimon's expectations were pretty low, but this is so low it's like digging holes in the dirt. So what do we do now? Even if we want to talk to someone, we don't know anybody here. There's still one other person we know. Huh? Like who? At Astra Abyssos. Catherine. Oh, you're right! Catherine! The Adventurers Guild has its own intel network! Let's hurry and find her! Okay, let's hurry and find her. Um, Go to the Adventurers Guild and ask Catherine for help. Actually, I didn't really remember where should I go first, but after... After Ada's Rabbi sauce, <laughs> of course we know where she, where should we go. And let's open this teleport waypoint first, just like this, perfect. And there we go. Hello there, Catherine. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Hello, traveler and Paimon. And hello again, another Catherine, Catherine. We need your help with something. Understood. The Adventurers Guild is always ready to serve you. We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. Do you know a way we can do that? You two wish to meet with Sumeru's Archon. Understood. Please wait. Mm-hmm. And... what now? I apologize, what? but I am unable to call up any relevant information in the Akasha. Uh, I'm also unable to locate any pertinent no, information no, no, really. in my personal memory. Why is everyone relying so bad with Akasha? I mean, it should be expected, but <laughs> why is the story is like this? I mean, we already have a Kasha and everyone has this. Let's assume everyone has the same knowledge, right? Aww, another dead end. Well, if Catherine can't help us, then we really don't know anyone else to ask now. Please do not.
not worry. I may know of someone who can help you two. In Sumeru, the Adventurous Guild does not serve as the vanguard of information. Rather, there are numerous active mercenary groups collectively known as the Aramites. The Aramites? They take on various contracts and work all across Sumeru, so they naturally accrue intelligence. An Aramite brigade called the Corps of Thirty is in charge of Sumeru City's defenses. Not only are they the oldest brigade, but they are responsible for managing and coordinating the affairs of all other mercenary brigades. Corps of Thirty? Okay. What a weird name. Supposedly, they are named as such because their ranks numbered 30 at their inception. Asphant, an advisor with the Corps of Thirty, maintains good relations with the Adventurer's Guild. Though he's already retired, he and his words carry great weight within mercenary circles. If you'd like to get in contact with him, you can find him at the Corps of Thirty's headquarters, the Citadel of Regzar. Okay, thanks a bunch, Catherine. You're welcome. I wish you two the best of luck. We look forward to your exploits in Sumeru. Okay. Go to the Citadel of Regzar we go! Go to the Citadel... Sab... Go to the Citadel... Ah! I slip my tongue again. Citadel of Regzar and look for Asfran. Okay, I guess I'm gonna stop the recording right here. It's getting too long and I really have to just stop, you know? Uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like this video if you like it. Dislike it if you don't. And see you on my next content. Peace out.